Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 33 of the Adobe Illustrator tutorial series. So today we're going to talk about opacity mask. So unlike clipping mask, opacity mask has uh, much more of um, a detailed level of work that you have. Uh, so I'm just going to show you how to do that. And in order to do that, let me just bring out a symbol right here. So let me just uh, bring out this butterfly symbol and reshape it by pressing E and then resizing it. Uh, to the shape I want. All right, there you go. So now what clipping mask does is uh, you just draw a shape on top of the other shape. Just select both of them, right click and do make clipping mask. So it's that easy over there. Uh, but to select opacity mask, what you have to do is uh, let me use uh, this shape as an example. All right, so I'm going to, uh, let's say, add no color, uh, no, add no lines on this. So I'm going to create a duplicate of this and let's say, let, let me choose a gray version of this and let me choose another one as well. And I'm going to create, uh, let's say, um, a ray, uh, um, let's say a gradient version of this and another one, I'm going to do a radial gradient just like this. All right, there you go. So now I'm going to create an opacity mask out of this. So let me just select the butterfly right there and I'm going to go into the transparency and you can see that there's opacity mask over here. So in order to apply op op opacity mask to the uh, butterfly, I got to go to transparency, which you can access through windows and then you can access transparency from here. So I can simply copy paste this. So I'm just going to control X to cut it. I'm going to select the shape. I'm going to select the mask area. I'm just going to cl uh, click to like make mask over here. And once I press ma make mask, you can see that this area is active and I'm going to press control V. Uh, and I'm going to, just going to select the mask, uh, this one, the black area, press control V, and you can see that uh, an opacity mask is created, but I cannot see anything because my mask is actually black. Black means everything is transparent and you cannot see anything. But if I were to change my color, for example, onto more gray side, you can see that the uh, level of opacity is changing. So the whiter it gets, the uh, vis more visible it gets, uh, gray areas are more transparent. So if I were to uh, copy and paste the uh, gray object right here, so let me go to the main object right here. Let me just control X on this one. Uh, select this area. Uh, let me just press release if you, want, if you want to release the mask. So let me just make mask again. So make mask, go to this area, control V. And let me take this out here. And you can see that because my circle is gray, uh, it actually has a semi opaque shape right there. So I'm gonna delete this again. Release the clipping mask. Uh, now I want this as a clipping mask. Control X, select this, make mask, Control V. I meant select the mask area, press Control V, and you can see the mask area right there. If you want to invert the mask, for example, then you can also invert the mask. So if you want the black area to show, then you can do that as well. So the center part is uh, transparent while this is not. So if you were to drag this on top of anything else, uh, let me just like, press Control Z over here. So if I were to uh, uh, go back to the main shape, drag this onto the bottom, for example, let me just press Control X. Let me go to the layers panel, create a new layer beneath it and press Control V. You can see that it is actually semi-transparent. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the mask over here again. So let me just go to the transparency panel, go to windows and then go to transparency. I'm going to release the clipping mask over here and then I'm going to delete this. So I'm going to press Control. Uh, X for this and I'm going to select this make mask control V over there and you can see that there's a gradient mask now So uh, what the gradient mask does is it allows you uh, it has certain area um, That is visible and certain area that is not so that is how you can you, you can also invert the mask to have an opposite effect so you can have gradients uh, as effects so you can have gradient opacity is just like this by using opacity masks like this. So you can see that it is quite easy. And if you want to release the mask, you can just unlink the mask just like this as well. So you can see that uh, you can unlink the mask and release the mask right there to release the effect of the mask. So that is how opacity masks work inside of Adobe Illustrator. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.